Hi everyone, I am back from Creativation 2017 and I wanted to show you a few things that I got there. Um, first of all, it was amazing. I went with Canvas Corp and I, I helped out in their booth a little bit and I walked around and I did some things. So I wanted to show you a few little samples I picked up. Um, maybe thought you might like to see them. First of all, this was really cute. Um, there was a group there doing uh, this little hat make and take and um, they were asking for donations for a charity. I'm going to look up the charity and put it in the link below so that you can look it up. Um, but they basically had Sizzix, they asked Sizzix to um, make them a die, especially for these hats, and so they did. And so these were just cut with some felt from the Sizzix, and then they had tons of embellishments there that you could just hot glue on. So that was really fun. Um, it was fun seeing everyone walk around with little hats that they could decorate. Um, so this is the one I made. I just had this little teal hat with some little flowers and <laughs> a butterfly and some feathers. So it was really cute. I'm just going to display it in my craft room. Um, but yeah, I will try to find that um, charity and put the link down below in case you're interested in that. This is just a little planner page I did over at Webster Pages. Um, they had this little pocket page layout thing that you could do showing off some of their new kits um, with some of these little prints. And they had washi tape, they have these cute little number um, clips, they've got um, papers, um, lots of little embellishment, little flag, sticky tags that you can put into your planners and stuff. So I just thought that was really cute. Um, nice little make and take. So if you're into planners, go check out Webster's Pages because that was really cute and fun. Um, this was <laughs> sort of, I went to, I think it was the Krylon booth, and they had these planks of wood already um, stain and then they had stencils with these words on it that you could paint now you could do um, a brush on the stencil or you can do airbrush and I tried the airbrush you can see that the stencil wasn't pushed down all the way so it got a little fuzzy up there but that was a really fun little uh, make and take um, I think they said the airbrush would be available in Michaels with some of the paints so I'll have to go check that out soon um, but then I took it back to the canvas corp booth and I kind of embellished it with some papers from canvas corp now these are new papers these are going to be coming out I think in February they might be available maybe sooner I could be um, wrong on the dates but I had to embellish it with some of the papers and some of uh, the canvas and stuff and these are rub-ons these are new rub-ons from Canvas Corp. Seven Gypsies has a ton of new things coming out, and I'll show you another sample of that soon. Um, but these are rub-ons that are totally amazing. I usually hate rub-ons because, you know, you do all that work to rub it on, and when you peel the backing paper off, a lot of times they come up with the backing paper. This doesn't. It's so easy. You can do it with your finger and like you see, it can go on wood, it can go on paper, it can go on canvas. You have to kind of rub pretty hard for that, but it's really, really amazing. So I just had to show you this. I'll probably put this up in my little craft room somewhere too. <laughs> so hobby holsters. Um, these are from Holster Brands. They were so generous and they brought a few of these over to our booth. Um, we had a little table set up that was kind of like a make and take, only we didn't have any structure to it. It was just sit down and play with some of our stuff, um, which we got some really good uh, feedback from. People like to just sit down and play. It was kind of like a um, just a way for them to rest their feet and get a little bit of creativity into their day. But anyway, so they were giving out these little samples. And I'm going to be using this in my craft room. It will cling to any um, slick surface. It'll just stay there. You can put your hot glue gun into it. You can put paintbrushes into it. This one, if you can see, it has holes on the bottom. So it will help water to drain out. So you can put paintbrushes in there. You can put your silverware in there and your sink. Um, tons of different stuff. Now this is just a small one. They have bigger ones that um, are made for more of your tools. But they were giving out this little sample. So I really liked this one. I'm gonna just probably hang it in my craft room or hang it over my sink or something. This I thought was interesting. I think a lot of you are probably um, familiar with Vera Bradley. They have bags and 
purses and different things, they're coming out with a little book of postcards that you can color. So I picked up this little sample and I'll be coloring it. I thought it was just kind of a fun, fun little thing. And they're standard postcard size and everything, so you can send them just like a postcard. Or you can just, you know, color them and keep them for yourself or whatever. They have lots of different prints, so I just thought that was really interesting to see Vera Bradley at Creativation. Alright, so this is part of Seven Gypsies Architectures. This is their little card that they were handing out. Um, it's this little Seven Gypsies truck and it has some of their information on the back. Now, their new architectures are really amazing. They are vintage inspired pieces um, that they've kind of shrunken down and they have texture to them. So they have lots of different uh, pieces. They've got a vintage mason jar, they've got a dress form, they have uh, tons of different stuff. They've got um, old metal tiles and stencils and rub-ons and just tons of exciting things. And we were able to play with it a little bit and it was really fun. Um, here's one thing I made with one of the dress forms. Um, you can see this dress form is oops, dimensional and it's self-adhesive and it has that soft feeling of fabric on a dress form and it's soft too. And I thought it was just so fun and I kind of dressed her up with a little bit of tissue paper and some bling. Um, this little design over here is also part of the architectures. It's kind of like um, it's like a soft design. You can play with it, you can you know manipulate it. I cut little pieces here on the side to fit. You can spray and paint them. Um, they are a little bit shiny so they will kind of resist the paint a little bit so it makes it possible to do like masking and different things but if you let the paint sit on there it'll dry and it'll take the paint as well. And another cool thing I thought was really fun so there's oh, that vintage mason jar. <laughs> there's a picture of it. Anyway, is that they made the packaging, so this is a piece of packaging, they made the packaging so that you could use it. So I used this side of the packaging that has this wood design on it. And I think that's just so smart because I always hate throwing away the packaging um, when it's got a little design on it or something that sometimes I just kind of keep them and reuse them. So they've made the packaging so you can reuse them and that's a really good idea. So, I will put links down to the architectures and different um, photos and things of those from the, the, um, from the show if you're interested in that. So you can check those out. And this is another cool thing I thought was really neat. So this is um, a sample piece of some of their architectures. These are just some, some texture. It looks like a wood background, but you can also die cut it. We took this over to Sizzix and they were so good and they helped us um, die cut these feathers just to show that they could be die cut. So I thought that was really fun. You can see they're kind of, um, they're stickers, well not really stickers, they're just self adhesive on the back. They are very pliable, you can move them, you can shape them, you can do so many different things with them and die cutting them opens up a lot of possibilities too. So I thought that was really fun. This is just a little make and take that I took, um, made over at Lawn Fawn. They had these cute little cards that you can make, so um, they had all the pieces ready for you. You just kind of had to put it together, color a few pieces, and do some stamping. So it was pretty easy, but it gave you a good um, kind of idea of what Lawn Fawn has to offer. This one I did over at Heidi Swap. They had their mink there. Um, they had some of these planner inserts that you could foil, so I chose this nice striped one. And then they have um, coming, I don't know if they're new or what, but they have these packs that come with these um, dividers that you can foil, and then they come with perfectly shaped um, laminating pockets that you can just stick it in and laminate it because the mink is a foiler but it's also a laminator so I think that's really fun and fabulous so I just did this little uh, planner divider thing and then this <laughs> um, I think the name is here but these are little foil type stickers um, someone just handed me I thought they were really fun maybe I'll try to use them on a card or something because that this butterfly looks really 
really pretty with all that little foiled butterfly. I hope you can see it. But there's lots of little stickers and designs on this little sheet. So I might end up putting some of this stuff on cards. Now let me show you a few things that I brought home from the Canvas Corp booth. Um, after the show was over, Christine was so good and she said, take a few things that you think you might be able to use. So I did. I grabbed a few things. Um, I just wanted to give you a look at them because um, I just love all the Canvas Corp stuff and they have so many good things. I'm sure I could have grabbed tons, but I tried to be a little bit, uh, you know, modest. <laughs> so I'll just show you a few of the things I took. So I love these little windmill cards. I don't know how many of you know, but I grew up on a farm and we have a windmill in the back. And so I just love the little image of the windmill. So they have these printed on little tags and you can, um, lots of fun things that you could do. You can color with it, you can spray it, you can put it on a card or something. So I thought those were fun. So I picked up some of those. Now I love their paper bags because you can use them on scrapbooking and cards and anything. These are just plain white. So I thought you could do probably a little bit of stamping on it or coloring on it. Um, so I picked these up. These are three and a quarter, three and a half by five and a quarter. And there's 12 in a bag. And they also come in craft. And they have some bags that are, I think, black. Um, so I just picked up some of these. I also liked these little feather tags. I thought those would be really fun on a card or something. Um, and I really like the image of feathers. So I just picked up some of those to kind of do something with. Um, these I had already. These are kind of a look at their uh, file folders. Now they have different file folders. They have white ones, which I have here. Um, they have these craft ones. I picked up some of these mini ones because I thought those were really fun. And Seven Gypsies also has file folders and those have a ton of really fun designs on them. But I picked up the white ones because I always like to kind of start with something blank and do my own stamping and coloring on it. And these little mini ones are so cute and I just picked them up because I thought I could just throw them on some different projects. I also picked up a few of these little zipper bags because they're so handy for storing stuff in and with this blank canvas you can you know decorate it yourself you can um, put an iron on on there or something this one is all canvas and these are canvas and burlap which I really like I think that's kind of unique um, let me see I don't see any dimensions for these on the tag let me see how big they are they're about seven and a half um, wide by oh five and a quarter tall I think so they're about that size so they're a good little size you can probably put pens or different things in there now this is something that is new these are cardboard pieces that have this printing on them um, I think they're like screen printing and they're a little bit, they have a little bit of dimension on them. So you can use it as a resist. You can do mixed media on it. It's really fun. So I have two of these. They have a lot more other designs. But um, Christine just said, go ahead and take these and see what you can make out of them. So I will be thinking about ideas for these because I think these are really cool. And if you like mixed media, you know, this is a piece of cardboard. So it's going to hold up to a lot. So um, I'll be thinking about what to do with that. Let's see. So they have these awesome t-shirts that I brought home with me. That one's got a little something on it. Um, it says, Be Creative Every Day with Canvas Corp. And it has some paintbrushes on the side and they go to, around to the back. They also sell these in the store. So if you are looking for a good t-shirt, this is kind of fun. Um, this is a medium. So I would suggest going up a size if you get one, just to make sure it fits and they are cotton, so they will shrink in the dryer. So don't throw it in the dryer if you don't want it to shrink, or just go up a size, and then you should be good. So there's that. They also have, with the same little um, Be Creative Every Day, they have aprons. So we all wore aprons in the booth. This little apron, this is mine that I picked up. Um, mine has pockets. Other ones don't. So I don't know if they're regularly printed on 
pocket ones or non-pocket ones or if you get a choice I'm not sure but mine had pockets and I absolutely loved that because I could stick things in there and walk around the show floor and um, so I had a place for my business cards and all that kind of stuff so that was really fun now these are bags of scraps so I have a whole bag of scrap burlap and I have a bag of canvas and Christine handed these to me um, as I was leaving said here take some scraps and see what you can do with them um, so the tag says they are scraps by the pound so it's a three pound bag of scraps I don't know I think they're just the regular cut shapes um, oh these burlap smells so good but anyway I have some little projects in mine that I will try to use these scraps for. So I think that's going to be really fun. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for what I brought home. Oh, wait, no, there's one more thing that I'm really excited about. I finally have a Misty, and I'm so excited because I have been eyeing this forever. Um, because you know it's the most incredible stamp tool invented and so I really think it will help with some of my stamping I'm so excited to use it um, and I have some stamps coming some new stamps coming that I'm going to be creating with so I'm really excited to use this Misty I think it's just gonna be a really great tool in my craft room now if you're not familiar with the Misty, um, it basically works, you put your stamps here and then, you know, you have your paper here and you just stamp it. And so you get a good precise stamp every time. If you didn't stamp it correctly uh, the first time, you can just stamp it again. It'll be in the same place so um, you'll get a nice crisp image. You can also, I mean they have this grid paper that you can line things up, make sure they're straight. There's this little foam piece in the back that you can take out as well. And that way you can use it with some of your cling stamps instead of just the clear ones. And I know that they have come out with, Misty has come out with some accessories and some new things so be watching for that um, because those are really exciting. Um, but I am so excited that I finally have a Misty. So if you're a stamper, then you will probably understand. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video, a little peek inside of my experience at Creativation. And I'm, I was so excited that I got to go, and hopefully I'll be able to go again in the future. But if you liked any of the things, I'll have a few links below. And don't forget to like or subscribe or comment and tell me what you think because I always love to hear from you guys. So thanks so much and have a great day.